Hi, I'm Senior Sales Support Engineer Mike DeRoche coming to you from the show floor at NAB 2015. We literally just opened the booth. They just announced it. We are so excited to have everyone here this year bringing you to our new products. And the first of them is our XAVC suite talking about cinema and documentary support and workflow. Brand new product we're coming out with is the SBAC UT100 dual SBAS card reader. This is a device that not only supports USB 3 as we've done in the past, but the UT stands for USB and drum roll, Thunderbolt. First time we've actually offered Thunderbolt. We're actually super excited about it. Now, not only is it a dual card reader, but you can actually daisy chain these and stack not just one and two together. You can actually do up to six over a single uh, Thunderbolt interface. When you're using Thunderbolt, you actually can achieve up to 330 megabytes per second of transfer speeds to get these files off and into your server and make them available for editorial. Pretty astounding. And it's well under $1,000 per. And again, multiple can be stacked or just operated single. Two at a time. Beauty, eh? So, not just SBS cards, but XQD Media in the adapters, bring that in there, pop it in, bring it to your server, and move along. One of the key strengths of our show floor this year is the use of XAVC codec and how we are now supported by virtually everybody out there in the market. Not just for encoding, but also decoding. And not just for distribution, but the manageable file sizes that you can generate with XAVC codec, either in intraframe or down to long op, but also XAVC-S on our consumer line of products. 8-bit, 10-bit, 12-bit, 420, 422, 444. All of those are supported in the XAVC codec. One of the largest benefits of using the XAVC codec is the manageable file size that are generated for HD all the way up to true 4K encoding. Those files at not just UHD or 4K, but 60P in those formats as well. All of those can be encoded by Avid, by Premiere, by Blackmagic's Resolve. All of those can encode and de decode, meaning they can import in and they can export out in those formats. So if you're exporting over to, say, an S by S card, you can then put those into one of our Thunderbolt readers and actually move those files very quickly in. You can also play those files back on a PZ1 player or our PWS 4400 uh, XAVC server. That XAV server, by the way, can do up to 480 frames per second from some of our cameras like the new 4300, which you'll, you'll definitely want to take a look at. Now, the biggest thing is, is we've come out with a new, what we call our Catalyst production suite. You may have been aware of the Catalyst Browse software. You may have been aware of the Catalyst Prepare, but now we've launched Catalyst Edit as part of the production suite. You cannot get it standalone, but for $400, you can get the Browse, the Prepare, and the Edit package all together. Encode, decode capabilities as well of all the XAVC codecs. Not just Interframe, not just Long Gop, but also XAVCS. And also, working in the raw space. You can do all of that within that suite of products for just $400. Pretty remarkable. Now, XABC is very, very economical. Why? Well, because it's a two-pass encoding scheme, and this is very important. We're basically getting rid of, in layman's terms, all the fat of the signal and working with just the meat. But in a secondary pass, we're making a more finite, more economical pass that maintains all that chocolatey goodness of that signal all the way up to 4K, or if you want, UHD. But key is up to 60 frames per second. And all of that is supported with these manufacturers, as I mentioned. For more information on our Catalyst Production Suite line of products, please go to sonycreativesoftware.com. Or for more information on the cinema and documentary workflow applications I've discussed here, please go to sony.com slash 35mm. That's it for now. Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the field.